Howdy folks, Tricky B here. Uh, I got a terrible, sad tale today. Um, I, I'm going elk hunting and you know, a little, what is it? It's a little over a week, right around a week from now. And you know, I had a ton of Amazon points on my Amazon Visa card, because you know, when it's COVID, you buy everything from Amazon. You get points on your Visa card. And I like to use save my points up so I can get something that I don't really need, but that I want. And this year I decided I pick up this beautiful Leupold LTO Tracker 2 HD thermal imaging system, which is, it's really a thermal camera kind of thing. It doesn't take photos, right? There's no storage memory in it. You can't snap a shot with it or anything. But it's it's like a little telescope that you hold up and it, it shows you, you know, thermal images. So it's, it's you know, a, a, kind of like a FLIR, um, but specifically designed for use in the field for game. Uh, it, but you know the world is sold out of these, and um, I could only find one used. But it was it was sold by Amazon on Amazon, you know, not just fulfilled by Amazon, but sold by Amazon. And I said, okay, I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance uh, buying something used um, uh, f because it's from Amazon. And I know if there's a problem, you know, Amazon will take it back. They'll give me my money back. I think on used stuff. And as luck would have it. There is a problem. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here I've got this nice LTO Tracker 2 HD. Nice sticker from Amazon. It says, thank you for giving this product. Well, thanks to you, this product has a second life. Amazon Warehouse, Amazon Renewed, fulfilled by Amazon. You know, in my case, uh, it's Amazon Warehouse, as far as I can tell. It was definitely, it said it was sold by Amazon.com. Uh, so, you know, I'm assuming it's a customer return. But you can see it's got this sleeve on it. It says Tracker 2, that's the right model. Tracker 2 HD. Pop the box out. And this box is difficult to get out. All right. Now, this has the company name on it. It's got the company name here. It's got a serial number down here, which I don't want to show you right now. Um, but uh, you'll notice there's no other markings on this box as to what's supposed to be in it. We open it up. Er, okay, here's a little product literature. LTO Tracker 2 HD. You know, 2 HD, not HD2, just like, just like on the box. So, so far, we got the right sleeve. We got the right insert. This box seems to be the same box if you go online. It's hard to tell because they don't sell the tracker anymore. But if you go online, you look at the videos on YouTube from when, you know, the tracker original was, was new. Um, and the box appears to be the same. The other thing appears to be the same is that the outside dimensions of the tracker and the tracker 2 appear to be the same. So you can see here, tracker HD. Oh, let's see if we can get this to focus. Tracker HD 2. Oh, wait a minute. Here, Tracker 2 HD. Here, Tracker 2 HD. Here, Tracker HD 2. Now, if this was some fly-by-night only sell on Amazon, you know, Chinese manufacturer that just makes stuff that's really super cheap, well, maybe they would have screwed up the graphics on the, uh, on the device itself. And messed up their trademark you know? but i think a serious company like loophole stevens isn't going to do that here's the other thing you notice up here it just says lto tracker hd there's no there's no two there you know hmm, there's not a two before the hd there's not a two after the hd and it says 320 by 240 which is the um that's what they call the optics on this it's it's interesting because it's a 320 by 320 um, the Tracker 2 HD, I believe, is a 320 by 320. But uh, let's see if it's written on the literature here. Specifications. All right. Uh, see, it says the thermal sensor is 320 by 240. The display is actually 320 by 320. So they've, they've upscaled this, this the display for the Tracker 2 model, from what I can tell, uh, if I remember correctly. But this is correct. This is the this is but this number actually is the same on the Tracker HD and the Tracker 2 HD. 
So upon closer examination, I'm going to have some close-ups here, uh, still photos that I'll cut to in a second. It appears somebody just painted a number two right there. And when we do a close-up on that, let's see if I can go into extreme close-up mode. Uh, and get it to focus. Where's the camera on this? It's over on this end. The font's a little different. Right, see how thick those letters are. And this is this is thinner. Um, it's also a slightly different color. I don't know if you can see that there. It's slightly lighter. Um, from what I can tell, these letters are supposed to be white on this model. Uh, but for some reason, they're kind of goldish on this one. But they're off-white. So that's just a two. Somebody's put, you know, they couldn't fit it in between the, the tracker and the HD. And they've just stuck a two there. And then up here... There's really nowhere you can put it to. There's not enough space between Tracker and HD to stick it to, and there's not enough space between HD and 320 by 240 to stick it to. So that spot appears to be left unmarked. I would note that, you know, this is sold to me as used like new condition. It's got all these scuffs. This isn't really like new. This is actually used quite a bit. Um, works. It's functional. But it is not... Uh, it's not what I would call like new. This is used very good. Now inside, let me open this guy up to the battery compartment. Inside this battery compartment, let's see, where is it? Down here, opposite the uh, little bendy cable, there is a sticker there that has the... Um, the serial number on it, and that serial number happens to match the serial number on the box. Now I'm going to call the company when they open, uh, and they open in about a half an hour. I'm going to call the company and see if that serial number actually maps to an HD or an HD2, or whether it's just a made-up number. I, I don't know. It's just a sticker, so it would be pretty easy to fake that sticker. It doesn't appear to be anything special. Um, but it does match the number on the box. So it's possible that somebody bought a regular tracker HD and when the HD2 came out, and they're like, ooh, it comes in the same box and it's the same outside dimensions and everything. I will buy an HD2 from Amazon, or a 2HD, excuse me. I will paint a 2 on here, put it back in the original box with the lid that matches the serial number on it. So in case Amazon checks serial numbers, I'll throw the literature from the new one in it. I'll throw the sleeve from the new one on it and I'll return it. And then they'll turn around and sell it as a customer return to some sucker who won't know that it's fake. And as is always the, the case, you know, I end up being that sucker. So let me go to some still photos to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, and this one on the upper left, you're going to see the uh, the photo that comes with the promo information from, from Loophole. This is, I, I screen grabbed this off of the Amazon listing. And you can see Tracker 2 HD down on the front end, Tracker 2 HD up on the eyepiece. And you can see, um, you know, mine says Tracker HD 2 on the front end and it says Tracker HD but no two anywhere on the eyepiece, right? Those are, those are obviously incorrectly marked relative to what the product is supposed to be. And then I've got an extreme close up showing you not only that um, it's a slightly different color for the two and a slightly different font for the two, but the printing technology is also different. And I don't, I just don't know if you can pick this up on the photo, um, but it's very, it's, it's, very hard to see without magnification. Um, I give it the biggest mag that I can get on this on this camera, but the two is actually stuck around the edges. There's a small lip all the way around the edges, which is flatter to the surface than the center of the two is down the middle of the two. And so something, I'm not sure if this is like a a stick on transfer or whether somebody painted an outline and then went over it a second time but just in the center it doesn't look hand painted it looks like this is actually printed um, you know 
is it silk screened? Is somebody doing lots of these? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand the printing technology, but the loop, the, all the original markings don't have this characteristic. They are all completely flat. They are clearly entirely printed and, you know, in one pass. Um, and this too is either like peeled off of a sticky back and then stuck down and the edges stuck down more, or it's, it's printed in two, two layers. I'm, I'm not really sure, but the center is thicker than the edges. And that's different. So now I'm going to go um, call the company and see what they have to say. Okay, well, um, less than five minutes on hold with Lutpold, and I have confirmed my suspicions. The serial number for this is the serial number from an original Tracker HD. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like somebody took an original Tracker HD, painted a two on it, returned it to Amazon, because uh, I don't think, you know, you can sell used stuff on Amazon, right? But it's not sold by Amazon or by Amazon Warehouse. I think the only way to get used stuff from Amazon.com is to buy something from them and then somebody buys something and then they return it. And then the Amazon will sell the customer return used if it if you returned it because you, like, you didn't like it. If it's broken, I assume, um, I assume that they... Uh, you know, they don't sell it. They return it to the manufacturer, I hope. But I've talked to Amazon already. I talked to them yesterday when I discovered that the markings were all wrong. And I said, you know, I'm going to return this. Um, so I've got my return label all printed out and everything. Um, Amazon's very good with returns. You know, they're a good company uh, in general. But you get fakes, right? You buy, you buy especially you buy used stuff, you're rolling the dice. I, I will not buy used stuff that's not from Amazon itself uh, off of Amazon eBay, I assume the same scam is going. You can find these things on eBay, you know, for 600 bucks routinely. Um, this one was listed as $900, which is $100 off what Amazon sells them for new, but you can't get a new one for the life of you. The entire world is out of stock of these right now because it's the beginning of hunting season and everybody decided to buy a new one. Um, so it's going back to Amazon and, uh, you know, I hope they don't turn around and sell this to somebody else. Um, but, uh, you know, here you go. Here's the video that shows, you know, that I've discovered it was a fake. I showed you how I told it was a fake. I called the company. Um, if you get one just like this, uh, you know, leave me a comment or something. And, and, and I kept a, I kept a, the serial number. <laughs> we can compare. You buy a used one of these from Amazon in about a week after it gets back, uh, you know, from me. If it goes back up for sale and you buy it and it's the same exact one, you know, then we're going to have a problem, I guess, with Amazon. But as of right now, I think somebody scammed Amazon. Uh, Amazon's making good on this, but I can't get another one of these before my hunting trip. So, yeah, whatever. Um, I'd also like to say you got to watch the hunting laws, whether something like this is even legal in your state. It's, it's legal where I hunt. Uh, you know, I'm not using it at night. Um, but but in, in this state... The restrictions are it can't use any artificial light. So if this, you know, like security cameras, right? They have little, inf well, this, is the, this is the front. It's weird because it, with a telescope, you're used to the big end being, you know, the objective end and this end being the eyepiece. Um, it's the opposite here. <laughs> the sensor's out here and then this is the display. So it's backwards. It's like a backwards telescope. Um, but if this were like a security camera and there were IR blasters all the way around here creating like a night vision mode, that would be illegal in this state. If it, if it had um, like Bluetooth or something or Wi-Fi in it where it broadcast the images um, you know, to your phone so that you could set it up somewhere and go somewhere else and, and watch the images, that would be illegal in this state. Right? You're not allowed to broadcast, use anything that broadcasts the images of game. Uh, they want you in person to be the one finding the game. Um, so, you know, you can't, you, you can use, I guess, I don't know why you'd use night vision, because you're not allowed to hunt at night. Maybe you can find where they're sleeping or something. I don't hunt at night. <laughs> it's bad enough trying to hike in when it's dark and you get set up for first light. But, uh, you know, I'm not using this at night. I'm not using it at all, it turns out, because I'm sending it back, because it's a fake. It's an original HD, and an original HD... Nowadays, should sell for about 500, right? So they charged me 900 for this. Um, 
the original HD and the new uh, Tracker 2 non-HD are, are reasonably equivalent, actually. They're pretty close. And the new uh, Tracker 2 non-HD sells for about, I think, $599, somewhere around there, $600, somewhere around there. Um, and, and a new Tracker HD 2 right now, Tracker 2 HD. See, I, I've messed it up. I've read the label wrong so many times. Tracker 2 HD sells for about a thousand, but everybody's out of stock, right? There's a few people that, that will sell you on, they're like, uh, we'll set it to you in November, um, and, uh, and it'll be, um, you know, 1500. And what they're doing is they're waiting for Cabela's or Bass Pro or some, one of these big guys to come back in stock. Uh, one came in stock yesterday on Amazon, last night, nine ninety nine ninety nine, but not it, it would it wouldn't ship for ten days because they didn't have it in hand yet. It was sold by the time I got up in the morning, right? Which is no good for me because it would it would arrive on day three of my five day hunting tag, and it it would arrive at my house, and I'm not going to be hunting at my house, so you know I won't have thermal imaging uh, for my hunt this year, which will be just like every other year. Um, there's there's no animals where I, I mean, there's a lot of deer, but it, it's not deer season yet. So you know there's no elk where I hunt. So uh, so hunting elk, you know, having thermal imaging. Uh, what I was really doing was sort of hoping to cut down a little bit on my hiking, <laughs> where I could look to see, yeah, okay, there's nothing over there. I don't have to go way over there and climb this ridge, um, and I could just sit still and be in the middle of an area with no elk as opposed to walking around discovering for myself that there's no elk. <laughs> I'm a terrible hunter. But, you know, it's still, it's fun. You get out of the house, spend some time in the woods. Um, so this is going back. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, Amazon is, is good with returns. You know, they didn't give me any hassle. They didn't even ask me why I thought it was a fake. I'm like, I think this is fake. It looks fake to me. They're like, fine, we'll take it back. Um, I'm wondering if I should if I should stuff a little note inside of it that says, by the way, this is a fake, you know, with a link to my YouTube video <laughs> before I send it back. Uh, I've I've actually bought things at um, at Lowe's where when I open up the box, it's got a big note in it as to why the thing is broken from the from the guy that returned it. And I'm like, oh, that's no good. And I showed it to the guy. Uh, at Lowe's because he had pulled it off of he had to get it from a shelf that was up high he pulled it down and he's like oh this one's been opened but it's fine it's got all the pieces and we open it up and I'm looking and there's a big note that says this part doesn't work and he's like oh hmm, that shouldn't be on the shelf <laughs> so you got to be really careful with everything these days customer returns they turn around and they sell them hopefully hopefully Amazon does not sell this hopefully they figure out who faked it and and you know charge that guy but who knows? Uh, keep your eyes open. I don't know whether this is a one-off, whether it's just me. I'm the most unlucky guy in the world. It's possible that I got the only one like this. Uh, but keep your eyes out. It's Tracker 2 HD. It's not Tracker HD 2. Okay. Jerk B. Signing off. Out. <laughs> okay. A couple hours later now. Um, the plot thickens. This is now... Like the third time I've reshot this video, I really need to collect all of my information first and then, you know, then shoot the video. Um, you know, having confirmed that this is a, this is, you know, a Tracker HD um, device that's been remarked with a 2 on it and by, by checking the serial number with the factory, I said to myself, self, you know, there ought to be more uh, obvious differences between the original and the two um, than just the paint on the outside of the case, right? And the case is, is obviously slightly different, right? Uh, so I said, there's got to be functionality differences. Let's go to YouTube uh, and see what functionality differences I can identify. And I found four. And the weird thing is, this device here, which is in the case of an original Tracker HD with the two painted on it, all of the functionality of this device is from the Tracker 2. 
So it, it, at this point, it almost looks like this is a repaired thing where somebody wrecked the case of a tracker two and, and put an old tracker case on it and put a two on it. Or someone has figured out how to connect to, there's a little, there's a little like six prong connector inside of this that's down deep on the circuit board. Maybe somebody has figured out how to flash the firmware on it. Um, in theory, there's a different display. Uh, I don't know if you can, you know, you can't really count, are there 390 by 390 pixels on that display, right? It, you, it's not something you could do. If you had two right next to each other, you could maybe compare, hey, oh, this one's higher res than that one. But, you know, one of them having like 70 more pixels in each direction or so than the other isn't, isn't something you can pick up by just looking at one of them, right? Um, but all the functionality of this device is Tracker 2. So now I don't know what this is. This is some sort of weird Frankenstein device where it's got the insides, or at least got the, op the firmware of a Tracker 2, but in a case and the serial number from a Tracker 1. Uh, so let me show you some of the differences here. So first off, I'm going to go boot up screen. Um, oops, didn't see it there. Let me turn it off for a second. boot up screen. It's interesting that it's reflecting so much. You see it says version 2 at the bottom really quickly. I don't know if you saw that. Let's turn it off again. Um, we'll turn it off again. And we'll turn it on again. Right at the bottom it says version 2.0. I haven't verified yet that version 2.0 is the Tracker 2. I have verified that the, the only video I found that shows a boot up screen is a Tracker 2 HD video and it matches, it says version 2 on the bottom. A couple other things. The original Tracker does not have beacon mode. This has beacon mode. This is one of the big things. So when after it boots up, it'll come up with a little uh, target icon in the upper left. And that doesn't come up. Um, so we get the original boot screen. See that little thing that looks like a target right there? That doesn't exist on the original, right? So this has beacon mode, and we can check it out by, if we hit this button really quickly, let's see if I can find something hot. Here's a coffee mug. Uh, here's a coffee mug. Okay, we're in a bad, let me, let me get us into a, a, a video mode where it looks hot. Okay, here we go. There's a video mode where it actually is working. Okay, there's our coffee mug. See it nice and hot. The bottom it doesn't have much coffee in it now beacon mode if i push this one button really quickly so it's the right one right it recalibrates it down a little green square and a little red square that doesn't exist on the first gen that is a second generation only feature um the second thing is or the third i guess the third thing um there's a there's a crosshair reticle on the first gen now it's not there on the second um i'm guessing that from the videos that I've seen on YouTube, it was just too tempting for people to mount this in a in a rifle scope base and put it on their rifle because it, it had a rifle crosshair on it. Um, it this is not shock resistant, right? That the manufacturer they said, do not do that. This will come apart. Uh, if but you know you see some guys shooting it on the, on YouTube because then eh, it's YouTube. They don't care. They probably break it and then send it back to Amazon who sells it to me. Um, so there's no crosshair reticle on the Gen Two. The Gen 1 has it. Mine does not have it. Um, also, the zoom modes. If we can see the zoom modes that this goes through, it's in 1x. Well, let's see if I can get it to focus here. Come on, guys, focus up here. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can get it to focus. But this one tops out at a 7x zoom, and the first Gen HD does not support a 7x zoom. So this one goes 1, 1 1.7357. 1, 1.7357. The original one goes 1, 1.7246, or maybe 256. But it doesn't have a it doesn't have a 3 and it doesn't have a 7, and it definitely has a 2. Mine has the zoom levels of the second one, the second generation. In addition, the color modes change. There's six color modes here, which I don't know if we can see if we change, push this button here, we can see the color modes. If I can get it to focus on it, uh, gosh, it won't focus. I need a, 
What I need to do is I need to tap the screen here. I need to focus on it. Let's see if we can get it to focus right there. There we go. We've got high black, high low green, white, black, green, and high white. And then it repeats. Those are the six color modes from the HD2. The HD1 doesn't have the same modes. It's got some of them, but it has, for instance, it has a copper. And these high-low thing, the high-low green, that doesn't exist, right? There's no, um, so, so, so I don't know what this is. You know, at the end of the day, I, I don't know what this is. It's, it's clearly the case from a first generation tracker to the tracker HD. Clearly the case from that, right? No disputing that. It's the serial number from a first generation HD. It's the software from a second generation. Is it the display from a second generation? I don't know. Is it possible to retrofit the firmware from a first second generation onto a first generation and make it make it have all the functionality of a second generation, but not the internal hardware. I don't know. I don't know what this is. So, you know, I'm still not keeping it because, because I paid for used like new. Uh, the price I paid was only a $100 discount over brand new, right? I'm not, I'm not paying that much of a premium for used like new for some Frankenstein monster that's been pieced together in somebody's garage from, you know, returned parts or something. Right? I just, I don't know what this is. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking the chance. It's still going back to Amazon. Um, it's just, you know, it's not quite as bad as I originally thought. All right, check your B out.